مدد يا سلطان مدد يا سيد الشيخ عبد الله الفائز دغستاني مدد يا سيد الشيخ محمد ناظم عادل الحقاني مدد سيد الشيخ محمد عادل الرباني رجال الله أعينون بعون الله وكونوا عونا لنا بالله عسى نحظى بفضل الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم طريقتنا الصحبة والخير في الجمعية أطيعوا الله وأطيعوا الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد حتى يرضى سيدنا محمد If you watch the talks of Mawlana Sheikh uh, Muhammad, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise them higher and keep us with him. Uh, they're all based around taslimiya, about understanding that everything is in Allah's hand. That One of the main themes of the talks is to submit, is to give up uh, resistance and rebelliousness of our ego, to accept our condition in this dunya, the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aqama al-ibada fi ma arad wa lahu al-murad fi ma yurid. Holy verse of Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala establishes whom he likes, where he likes, in whichever way he likes. And it's none of our business to say why. Why it is like this or why it is like that. That's that's our nafs. Our our egoism is always asking why. Why he's like that? Why she's like that? Why I'm not like this? Why? Because you are a servant. You are abd. You are created. You are in need. You are a faqir muftaqir. You are impoverished. You have no will. La hawla wa la quwata illa billah. Or power. Everything is in your Lord's hands. And he chose. And he chose, and he willed, and he decreed. And your duty is, our duty, is to accept, is to submit. That is the reality of Islam. And it is to show good manners towards our Lord, is to be even happy with his decree. To be even happy in whatever condition he's put us in. And never to blame anyone. If there is something we are displeased with, we look no further, as they say. We look at ourselves and we say, Ya Rabbi, astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. That it is because of my bad matters, because of my wrong understanding that I am maybe not in a good situation. Never blame Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I was reading one of Mawlana Sheikh Nazim's talks and he's saying patience, sabr, is the foundation of all religion. If you want to be a spiritual person, you have to be patient. People say we are in tariqa. I, I say I'm in tariqa. May Allah forgive us. But am I in tariqa really? Because according to Sayyidina Abu Yazid al Bastami, he said tariqa is to carry. Tahammul al adad is to carry difficulty from people, is to carry things you don't like, situations you don't like outcomes you don't like, to carry it and to be patient and to be happy with Allah's decree. And it is said that Mawlana Abu Yazid al-Bastami used to, if there is nothing making him uncomfortable or unhappy, he would look for it. So if he's at home, 
and at home there is no uh, things that everything is fine and no one's giving him hard time, no children screaming, nobody complaining. He would go out looking for, go to the shops, go to the, to the market, go here and there. He would be around people in order to find things that are displeasing. And this is the reality. That's why Islam is a, religious, a religion of doing. We don't sit in our uh, in the mountain in, in some cave meditating and we say we are highly spiritual people. Yes, of course. If you have nothing giving you a hard time and you're sitting somewhere, nobody bothering you, nobody complaining to you, nobody harming you, Yes, you can achieve high levels of uh, tranquility and stillness and meditation, of course. But can you do it in the midst of difficulty, in the midst of hardship, in the midst of people showing you bad manners? Can you do that? Can we carry the... Can we act in the world and still be spiritual. That is the way of Sayyidina Muhammad He was living, that's his sunnah. He was living amongst the people, buying and selling with them, doing business with them, leading them, advising them, uh, helping them, uh, correcting them when they needed to be corrected, disciplining them. He was, he was living and at the same time, his heart was always Allah says about Prophet وسلم, on his Mi'raj that even when he saw the heavenly realms and the stars, not the stars, the heavens above this Hadd dunya the first and second and third heavens, and the astonishing sights and lights of Akhirah, of the Malakut, of the angelic realm. When he saw all that, Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wa Sahbihi Wa Sallam, his, his attention never wavered. Not for one second, he lost track of his goal, of his murad, of what he was seeking. And that is in Akhirah. So imagine in dunya, Imagine when he was amongst the people, advising them, even fighting them or guiding them. Uh, imagine, you think his, his heart, the attention of his heart was moved from his Lord? Never. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that's how he taught his companions after him. Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, two years of Khilafah, not one was acting at the time when Prophet ﷺ veiled himself from this world. There was a huge pushback. Many people and tribes even, they didn't want to pay the zakat anymore and some even left Islam altogether. So he carried the burden, carried the inheritance of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he was doing everything as well. He was guiding, he was acting, he was... And he, at the same time, his spiritual state, they say Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq mata kamadan, that he died from his ishq, from his sadness, that he was separated from Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They used to say, يعني, they, they used to hear, hear they, they, the, the people heard even the, the moaning and yearning of his heart sometimes when he was praying and leading them in prayers. Sallallahu radiallahu anhu That's Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, al-Siddiq al-Akbar, radiallahu anhu 
Imam, the one from which tariqa line is taken, is they acted in this world, but they never were out, their, their focus and attention never wavered for a second. Like that, now the opposite is true. Now if we can get a moment of real certainty and attention and focus, it is a miracle these days. Because the world, with all its lights and ornaments, is always beckoning us. Is always asking us to pay attention to it. And to leave the attention off. Paying attention to our hearts. Paying attention to our states. Paying attention to our words. Paying attention to our deeds. Are they in compliance? Siddiq al-A'zam, Siddiq al-Akbar, Sayyidina, Sayyidina Abu Bakr, Siddiq radiallahu an, in the midst of his duties as Khalifa and fighting those who left Islam and were fighting Islam and shouldering the burden of being the first Khalifa, the first representative of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu after he left dunya. Who can, who can walk in, in those shoes? No one. But he was that one that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose to be the Siddiq of his beloved Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But in the midst of all that, according to Sayyidina Umar, if there was a lady uh, that had no one looking after her, Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq was looking after her, after everything. If Sayyidina Umar was looking for these poor, poor ones, he would always find Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq ahead of him. Uh, helping them, uh, giving them food. Why? Because they never lost track about this. They never, they never lost track about what it means. They were they they were servants. They were servants of the servants of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. The weakest ones, they were there to help them. And this is the. This is tariqa. This is the way of reality. Tariqa is not to uh, think that we are people following uh, Sufism and therefore we are special ones and to walk around like we are special ones and to look at people as if they are less than us. Uh, this is far, far, far from what it means to be a Muslim, forget tariqa. What it means to be a, a human being, a true human being, a Muslim, is the humility. To understand that you are a servant, like all Allah's servants. And if he has favored you with one or two things, it is no reason for you to be proud. And if he gave you something he didn't give somebody, it is him, he gave it to you, it's not yours. It's not, nothing to do with you. He gave it to you. And if he took it from somebody else, it is his prerogative. He gave to one servant and he didn't give to the other. But you're still servants. And he may, if, you show, if we show pride, and if we start to believe that we are better than others around us, he may rob us. Not rob us, Allah, but he may take it away from us. Whatever ni'mah that we are, that we see, make it a reason to, to see ourselves above others, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may take it away from us. That's why Mawlana Sheikh Mazim used to tell us in the sohbahs that do not look down at anyone, no matter what condition you find them in, no matter the, the state of their appearance, no matter the state of um, their condition, whether they're believers, unbelievers, no matter what uh, uh, status they have in dunya, you know, whether they're homeless or this and that, never see them for who they are. They are Allah's servants. They're created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And respect them because they're Allah's servants. They're ibadullah. No matter who they are, 
at the, at the end of it is they have that light in them. They have that reality. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wa laqad karramna bani Adam. We have honored the children of Adam. So we have to always look with, with those eyes. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us understanding and grant us to never lose our focus from what is important for us in this dunya and in akhirah. And to stay on the path, may Allah forgive us, forgive our shortcomings. We are weak ones. We are uh, weak servants. And may Allah keep us with our mashayikh, Sayyid Sheikh Muhammad Adar Rabbani. If you watch Mawlana Sheikh Muhammad, you see these things we were talking about embodied in him. You see his stillness, you see his humility, you see his uh, focus and lack of distraction. He's always moving in what is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Very humble, very down to earth, with full taslimiyyah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise him and grant us to be with him, inshaAllah. Khalifat Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Adil Al-Haqqani. He, he is the Shaykh of this tariqah for us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raise him higher and higher and grant us to serve him and to be of use. May Allah forgive us.